all right y'all so welcome back to the channel um i just did a uh 130 hour review on the 299 um skid steer here the 299 d3 xe skid steer so if you haven't seen that video i would recommend that video if you're interested in a skid steer uh awesome 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 unit but anyway um i want to talk more about this unit the alpha wolf xp brush cutter heavy duty brush cutter to me extremely heavy duty brush cutter um but anyway um i wanted to give a review on this thing so i have roughly uh i i don't know it's getting up there i i say i have close to 100 hours on it um, so where do I even start? I'm going to go ahead and just name a couple of the downfalls with it real quick, just to get those out of the way. Cause it's not much. The stickers, the stickers on this thing come off fairly easy. Here's one of the stickers. It came off. It's not like, uh, these stickers, I guess. I don't know. Like these stickers stay on. I went through a lot of big brush with these stickers. Look at this. The paint, the quality of the paint on this thing is awesome. But stickers still look brand new. But whenever you get to this thing, I, I guess the stickers just don't, like this is supposed to say XP. Uh, the H is kind of messed up there. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, so the, the stickers, which are important, I mean, when it says... Uh, danger something blades rotating blades that's what it's supposed to say um so this sticker right here you know that's a that's an important one the 300 feet stay back you know but anyway that that's really <laughs> that that's really it y'all that's that is the worst thing about this cutter um and yeah i mean i i could kind of i could go on and say hey the cutter doesn't uh the cutter doesn't um mulch things as fine as a drum mulcher i could say that but really it does it just depends on how much you want to work the blade back and forth you know um i wouldn't say even that much more than than your your disc mulcher so that so to me that's just not really a downfall with this if if um well let me just talk about all the good i mean that that's really the stickers are the downfall uh it's a high flow unit this unit is a high flow it is uh rated for let's see here pretty cool thing they got a little tag right here it tells you the the uh the flow range here 33 to 45 gallons okay the weight this the weight of it almost 2600 pounds right made in the u.s which doesn't mean as much anymore but hey <laughs> um this thing is a monster it, it's it's a you know i don't believe in monsters but this thing is a monster um it's just a beast of a machine um it it uh has a, a a cutting width of i believe it's 72 inches 72 or 74 inches i can't remember now but it's one of the two and um it's just absolutely crazy what this thing will attack uh, i was very skeptical when i uh, first got this unit uh, my sales rep recommended it to me i was wanting a i was wanting a disc mulcher at first and then i started looking into the drum mulchers and then i found just those are even more than most of these disc mulchers and he was like well have you heard of the 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 brush cutters so very little research um I couldn't find a whole lot on this particular unit. And uh, 
so I was skeptical. I like to do research on things before I buy them. And, um, and there's just, there just wasn't a lot. So, uh, but when I, when I got this thing, I tell you, I, I tried it out real quick. I was really excited when I, when I first got it and I still am. And it, um, uh, cause it, it's rated to do, to do up to a 10 inch tree. This thing is rated to do up to a 10 inch tree. And uh, let me turn the camera around here. So a, a 10 inch tree, that's, that's a pretty good size tree. That's, that's huge. Now you're, you're not going to do 10 inch material all day, every day with it. But this, uh, this is like more of your occasional 10 inch tree and it will do it. It will do it. Um, five inch material, seven inch material all day, every day. No problem at all. No problem. Um, definitely recommend, uh, just keeping your blade sharp on it. Uh, I, I've ran it with uh, some fairly dull blades and, um, obviously with anything else, if you run with dull, whether it's a, a mulcher like, uh, or you're cutting your grass, I mean, uh, you just need to, you need to have sharp stuff, you know, uh, or like stump grinding, sharp teeth. Um, all that's going to keep wear and tear down on your equipment. So keep, keep that stuff sharp and it will treat you a lot better in the long run. But anyway, um, yeah, just the quality, uh, the, just how thick the metal is. Let me, let me turn this around one more time. Sorry, y'all. I'll just keep it turned around. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, I think this half inch plate, the welds on this are incredible and super nice very just super heavy duty this thing is is made very well um, i just did four acres with this and it wasn't it wasn't just four acres of brush it was four acres of trees uh with a lot of yopon a lot of pine saplings in it and i will put a little picture up there um Maybe, maybe, I don't know if we can put a little video as you're watching this video. But anyway, did four acres, did it in 20 hours. The guy was super impressed. I was super impressed. It was the biggest job that I had done uh, thus far with it. And it just, wow. Um, I honestly thought I was only going to get maybe, maybe three acres. But no, I was able to get four, maybe even a little more than that. Um and it did just incredible. On average, I was uh, mulching five inch material. I took down some 10 inch trees with it, eight inch trees with it. Did incredible. It did really, really good. Uh, some people would say that you cannot clear land with this brush cutter. Uh, matter of fact, there was a YouTube video. A guy was saying that. I'm not gonna point out any names, but the guy was saying, that this is the wrong tool to to do land clearing with and i personally believe that it's not i believe that um i, I believe it's if you're working in one to three inch material this thing's going to mow it over like you're mowing your yard with a 19 horsepower lawnmower um and that's that's your three inch material it's just it's not even going to recognize that it's there um it, whenever you're getting into your four to seven inch material you just got to work it a little bit more it doesn't take long at all uh if i'm if i'm taking down a seven inch tree uh that seven inch tree is going to disappear within about 30 seconds completely gone turn into fine mulch real fine mulch um if you're working a, a eight to ten inch tree well um it's uh it's gonna take a little bit more time uh that 30 seconds might go up to uh it might it might go up to more like a minute a minute to take you know maybe a minute maybe a minute and 15 seconds I, I don't know just depending on the tree 
um, but it, it will get rid of it very fast, very efficiently. And uh, just depending on how much you work your head, you can nose dive this thing down and you can just go back drag, go forward, suck it back in. It, it just, it, it, it chips it. And, it and it will chip it up into fine material just depending on how many times you go back and forth over it. It's the same thing with a drum mulcher. You have to go over it, and then you have to back drag, you have to go over it again, all just depending on how big the wood is and how fine you want the material. Uh, this is, this, I, I would compare this more to the uh, disc mulcher, um, where uh, <clears throat> the way that it, it's, it rotates, the way it ch uh, chunks wood out, um, the to where the the uh the disc mulcher you you won't you wouldn't have to work as much as you would this but um especially whenever you're getting up to the bigger five to seven inch stuff i'd say five inch and and, and over maybe six inch and over uh just probably depending on the wood um this right here you just you probably just have to work it a little bit more is all but you can still get a great result really good result and i'm going to put a picture um once again if i can't do a video i'll put a picture up um so just to kind of let you see what this thing can do um i personally believe that this should be in a different category this should instead of it just being called a heavy duty brush cutter i think it should be called like an extra heavy duty brush cutter uh so a lot of people believe you can just do brush with this thing, but no, you can you can actually do trees, and you can do trees quite well with it. So here, let me turn this around real quick. So um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to. I don't want to bore you with uh, with this video. I just want to um, I want to uh, just give accurate information. Number one, and and number two, I, want, I, want, I just want to educate. Uh, educate people because I was I wasn't educated with what this thing can do and um, anyway uh, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely extremely surprised and I, and I think you would be too uh, of just how good the quality is and I'll make no money on on doing these videos on this stuff I wish I did maybe one day I will I don't I don't know but um, I certainly don't now uh, but once again, uh, like I said, my other video on the skid steer, whenever I find a good product, I like to put it out there. So um, another awesome thing about this particular unit, it has this housing over the hydraulic uh, pump there or motor. And um, that's, to me, that's, that's important. It, uh, you know, keeps, keeps it all hidden and, 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 and safe. Um, so that's another really neat thing about this particular unit. Um, so uh, I would say uh, one of the cons with this unit, if, uh, if you're looking to um, get up close to a house and mulch or cars or something like that, I definitely would not recommend doing that with this one. So you, you really, this is more of a, you're, you're land clearing out somewhere you're not you're not in the city or something like that so if you're looking to be in the city and you're doing this kind of stuff unless it's an, a, a you know a decent sized lot that you're clearing um i just wouldn't do this around any any structure so uh because it, it will it says stand back 300 feet for a reason but but anyway awesome awesome unit uh, I would recommend this unit to anybody. Okay. I'd recommend it to anybody. Um, but if, I would say if you're, if you're really not serious into getting into to land clearing with this, you're just, you're just looking into just, I don't know, bush hogging. You probably don't need anything this big. Now I would still, I, it, I mean, get it. You're going to love it. I mean, you're going to love, uh, your, the outcome, <laughs> but, um, it's a pretty pricey unit. I, now I went through, uh, the cat place, 
uh, Caterpillar to get my unit, so they they make their money on top. I'm I'm spending uh, nearly twenty thousand dollars for this unit. I think you can get them though after tax, probably around seventeen, just depending on where you get it. But sixteen, seventeen thousand, something like that. I hope that I know I'm not I'm not covering everything. I'm not covering everything that I'd like to. I'm sure I try to remember everything, but it really is um, it really is a good good quality machine I would recommend it the maintenance on these things another thing uh, the maintenance is slim to none on on this cutter um, whenever you change the blades out that's the hardest thing and if you have some kind of impact or something like that to do it with you can probably have the blades all changed out within uh, 20 minutes um, <clears throat> very easy to change the blades super easy to change these blades and super easy to sharpen the blades you don't have to take them off to sharpen them that's it's easy uh, they just a regular angle gr grinder will will sharpen them just fine does does a great job uh, I can sharpen all the blades on here uh, within 10 to 15 minutes I mean it's obviously it, it just depends on how beat up they are you should never let them get that beat up but sometimes you can't help it sometimes you get into a rocky spot and they get beat up but anyway the maintenance on this slim to none so that's another awesome thing about this over over the the mulchers either one of the mulchers the disc or the drum very little i've I've not had to do hardly any maintenance on this. I just changed the blades out. Let me show you what the blades look like. Oh, nice new edge. I'll put a picture of what the old ones look like. Now, matter of fact, here, my son's coming. Let me show you what. So it's a double edge. You have that edge right here, and then you can flip this thing, and there's another edge right here. You can't really see it. There you go, maybe somewhat. But, um, Anyway, that's the carrier. Carrier is about 900 pounds, the blade carrier, which is this metal that the blade sandwiched in between. I mean, this is a beefy, beefy unit. But yeah, look at these, uh, look at the old blades. Now, you should not let your blades get like this, so don't do this. So, yeah. this one still has an edge on it. I could I could probably uh, reuse that, but the only reason why I didn't, because I allowed this edge to get so bad, I allowed this edge to get so bad, and I could probably actually, I could probably still work that down and reuse these blades, um, but it was vibrating a good bit because the it was off balance, so the whole the whole machine you have four four blades that weigh 15 pounds that are off balance um, this thing will vibrate a little bit so so anyway I just decided to put new blades on it and the blades <laughs> take care of your blades I, I would I would say if you're if you're in a rocky area probably don't get this machine don't don't get the machine because you're constantly going to be spending money on blades. And these blades are like $1,100 for a set. For the four blades, $1,100. Yeah, so. I I did some mulching up in Arkansas. Or may I say Rockinsaw. And, uh, oh, wow. I mean, I did two jobs and the blades were toast. So. <laughs> uh, pick wisely where you do your work. <laughs> Um, so I, yeah, I'm not going to speak on drum mulchers. I know rock will tear up, uh, you know, your typical drum mulcher teeth as well, uh, whether it's carbide or not. I, I did stump grinding up in Arkansas. You put a whole brand new set of teeth on and then you hit a chunk of granite, then you, you're sad because you just run a, a set of teeth. So, anyway, uh, we are now here in East Texas. Got a lot of dirt here, a lot of clay, and it, it lasts a lot longer. I'll just say that. 
So anyway, this is my review of the Alpha Wolf brush cutter. It, it's been an awesome, awesome tool. Awesome tool. And it is an extremely efficient. Um, and I'm only, I, I would like to say that, um, th I mean, this is a high flow unit, okay? A high flow unit. And so you have to have a, a high flow unit to run it, right? And, and, um, and I'm saying that this thing is a beast of a machine on a 110 horsepower. So if you have 110 or more, then you can, this right here is just an awesome machine. I'm sure you can run this on the cat 289. Um, I'm not, I mean a little lower horsepower, but I'm sure it'd work just fine. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'll, I think they also make a standard flow of this machine. Could be wrong about that, but I think they do. Anyway, highly recommend. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. You'll get the content that we put out. And um, yeah, well, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.